Big thanks to Specialize for sending out the all new 2021 demo race. After some awesome riding over the last few weeks, we wanted to give you a breakdown of the geometry and the riding characteristics this mullet bike has to offer. Our size S3 features a 446 millimeter reach with the flip chip in the short position and a 443 millimeter reach with the flip chip in the middle position. The long position of the flip chip is only to be used with a 29 inch rear wheel. The head tube angle changes from 62.8 degrees to 62.5 degrees in the middle position for those looking for a little extra edge on the steeper trails. This bike corners as if it was on rails with its 438mm chainstays and 27.5 inch wheel out back. This was by far our favorite riding characteristic this bike had to offer. It eats up chunky sections of trail with ease while the shorter a wheelbase allows you to really put the front wheel where you want it to be. The RockShox Super Deluxe DH Shock and Boxer Ultimate Fork are an easy to set up pair and provide plenty of small bump and big hit compliance. One of the few downsides of this bike we found is that the 438 millimeter chain stays at high speed paired with the 27.5 inch wheel out back did give us a little fishtail feeling in some of the higher speed section of trail. While this didn't really hold us back, it is something to be aware of. Specialized have done a fantastic job at eliminating as much brake jack as possible. This is especially noticeable when hammering lap after lap at rough bike parts. It has enough rearward axle path to help keep your speed when the going gets rough, but sacrifices nothing when it comes to hammering through a corner. Either pedaling to the lift or sprinting a flat section of the trail, the pedal bob is very minimal and is much appreciated. Riding this bike gives you the confidence to push your limits in the steeps while staying agile and playful for party laps in the park. For more information, check out the link in the description. Best thing I can say is cornering. Find tight corners, go fast, stay off the brakes, we were just at Silver Mountain Bike Park last, last weekend and basically motorized braking bumps and one of the things I really noticed was the lack of chatter through the brake bump. Overall, it's real fun, I'd say. Like, I'm 6'1", so if you're my height, you may benefit with an S4 if you like a longer bike. I've been experimenting with shorter bikes recently and enjoy it, but definitely at high speeds, it's a little, a little fishtaily. Um, even in the medium setting, I found it just fishtail a little bit, but Overall, as a like as a package out of the box, you don't need to touch a thing on it. I put one volume spacer in after one lap at Silver. Really softened up that small bump. I feel like a downhill bike really needs to be comfortable at speed in the steeps, which it is comfortable in the steeps, but as soon as you get up to speed, that short wheelbase, I think, limits you a little bit. As far as mullet goes, I'm sold. I think the next bike I do will be a mullet. We're on one of our own trails here, and first time I've rode a DH bike here, and the speed <laughs> the speed is uh is unreal so hope you enjoyed the video and uh check back in next time